So the highlights of Super Bowl. It started pretty frosty, pretty cold, and pretty wet. But that doesn't bother a world champion like Max Biaggi. He's just fast. Doesn't matter what the conditions are. And he was pondering the chance of another pole position. So too was Melandri, although he didn't like the wets and wasn't too comfortable with the way things are going. He'd already thrown it down. Camia listening to some tunes, a little bit of uh, classical music, I'm sure, from the young Brit. He was just cold to get out there. Looking good, though. Troy Corsa, 43 pole positions. Could it be 44? Unfortunately not. But he still looked good, did the BMW. Troy Corsa setting early pace and setting it well. Others were making mistakes, including the world champion Max Biaggi. Corsa continued on his course. A little bit of a moment there, but he was A-OK. -okay. Through the attitudes, and a good attitude this time from number 50. And, of course, Sylvain Guintoli, the Frenchman, back to full fitness and looking strong. Didn't finish as well as he'd like, but he was up there throughout. Max Biaggi looks over his shoulder. No one there, Max. Puts his head down, and he heads down towards that first corner. Here's a chance to see how it really looks from the rider's point of view as he dives into sunset and hopefully hangs on. Back through the gears and going wide. You can see Biaggi making a mistake there at turn one and several mistakes. No such problems for Jakob Schmertz. The check looked good again, but he always does in the wet and the Ducati's definitely suit in these conditions. Almost a pole position from him, but uh, he's right up there on the front row and we know that when he gets on the front row, as we saw at Donington Park, and as we saw when he got the pole position at Misano a few years ago, he's always strong. Ducati definitely on to watch. Another mistake by Biaggi as he goes wide, Corsa going up the inside, but this is the moment that it ended in glorious mud for Max Biaggi. Down he went as he tried to turn left, boom. No getting up from that, and the Aprilia was dead in the water, so to speak. Checker continued though, no falling for him, and the number seven was on it throughout qualifying. He was fastest in the dry, and he soon would be fastest in the wet. The Altea, Univac sponsored Ducati, as ever, smooth, the ball from Barcelona, looking good. His team had won in Wembley Stadium against Man United. He wanted to show and fly the flag again for Spain this afternoon, and that's exactly what he did here in North America, because when the Checker flag came round, it was Carlos Checker again in pole position as he sets off to try again to beat this Miller circuit. Jakob Schmertz, though, definitely one to watch, and he'll be hungry tomorrow. Czech loves racing in North America. Czech are the man, though, and Scott Russell, good friend of his, actually, giving out the prizes.